Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with a brilliant God of War Ragnarok on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now today we are going to be jumping into the free DLC Valhalla, which is basically a roguelite mode, which means if you die during your run, you have to restart your entire run again. But there'll be various different items and currencies that you can find during your run that will make the next run that bit easier. And during this DLC, you will also be learning more about Kratos' past and also watching him trying to overcome his past. And I think there might be a couple of teasers that could suggest that there's going to be another God of War game, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But yeah, let's jump straight into things. Valhalla. Reset progress. Yes. Okay, now normally when I play video games on YouTube, I always play on the top difficulty. With Horizon Forbidden West and God of War Ragnarok, because they're such long games, I normally play one below, which will be like show me pro prowess. But I think as this is a roguelite mode, and I've not played God of War Ragnarok properly for over a year now, I think I might go with show me courage, and if it seems like we're just getting through things too easily, then when we die, which will inevitably happen, even on medium mode, we'll come back and we'll do it on show me prowess instead. But I think for now we'll stick with show me courage, just for the benefit of this playthrough. So yeah, we're going to go with this one for now. Hopefully it's not too easy. Because it's been over a year, I have been onto the game just to check that everything's set up properly, all the audio levels are correct, but I've not actually done much. I think I did one run, no, two runs, and then that was it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not familiar with all of the enemies and stuff, so there's a good chance we will die a lot in this. Is that Kratos' throne? Or Sigrun's throne? You are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Well, Valhalla, in the Norse mythology, is where all of the dead warriors go when they've died in battle basically like their warrior heaven. So it seems like the perfect place for Kratos to visit, to be honest. <laughs> Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. Oh dear, oh dear, are you and Freya having a domestic? <laughs> so much sexual tension between those two. <laughs> I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. I love your voice, Mummy. I really do. Back to basics, then. Yeah, it's just like the original God of War. Because in the original God of War, we didn't get no upgrades. All we had was our weapons and new weapons that were forged by people for us. But that was about it. There was no weapons or runic attacks or anything like that in the original trilogy. So it does make sense. But you will get all of your armor back as you play through each run. You'll find new runic attacks and stuff like that. But all of those things will be temporary. And then if you die, that's it. They're all gone and you've got to earn them again. But there'll be two types of currencies in your run. 
One currency I forgot the name of you'll be able to use to buy temporary upgrades for Kratos. If you die, they're all gone. And then there's a secondary currency. And as I mentioned, you, with that currency, you can use it to buy permanent upgrades for Kratos, like health upgrades, rage upgrades, stuff like that. I think damage and defense upgrades. And then he'll keep those forever. And then that will allow you to get further in each run. But obviously, you need to do well in a run to earn this currency. So that's basically how it will work. But everything else, when you die, it's all gone. I don't know if there's any checkpoints to happen throughout the story because I've not played much of it, but it might be a bit like Returnal where like halfway through you get a checkpoint so you ain't got to do it all again, but I'm not too sure. We'll have to find that. Man, I'm so happy to be playing God of War again. I don't think there's a franchise I will ever love more than God of War except Crash Bandicoot. I really do love I think it's just Kratos. If there was no, if there was no Kratos in God of War, I don't think I would want to play it. I really don't think. I've already, I've already thought about the fact that they could make an Atreus spin-off one day. And even though I think that would be alright, because I do like Atreus' gameplay, which I seem to be in the minority sometimes, but... Uh, well, that felt unsettling. Like we plunged into a dream. But I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be happy about Kratos not being in it. Despite, despite still probably playing it, I would be very unhappy that Kratos is in it. But if it was a brand new character, I probably wouldn't buy it. It'd take a lot for me to buy it. A refresher of controls and gameplay concepts can be found in the codex under lessons. Ah, we don't need that. We'll just run in with our pants down and hope for the best. <laughs> right, so I think it's a, it's a R1, R2. Yep, and then you hold R2. Yep, and you've got stronger attacks. Yep, and then it's L2 to throw. Triangle to return. D-pad to return weapons. Yep. It's, it's insane how much muscle memory you have for video games, even when you ain't played for years. I've not played World of Warcraft since 2020. Guarantee you, if I jumped on it right now, I'd know what I was doing. <laughs> and I've not played for like nearly four years now. Yeah, about April. Yeah. At least we've got the drop near spear as well. <laughs> Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. I was hoping somebody would shout welcome, Wolf and Wolf X. A bit disappointed. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? <laughs> of course you won't. Where are the CL4? Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. One of the hardest thing that people will ever do. Master yourself. Such a difficult thing to do. Oh, come on, Kratos. What are you doing, old man? Explore the lower realms of Valhalla. Something is wrong. I feel weaker. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. Yeah, I did wonder this when I first started playing. So that's why you died so quick. I wondered why you had this weird, like, red glow around you and you died so quick. When I, was, when I first started playing it, I guess I ignored that bit where he said he felt weaker. <laughs> Come on, you fuckers! Oh, what an idiot! Oh shit, I press circle to dodge. I always do that. I always do it. It's bloody X, ain't it? Man, I need to make the dodge button circle. Not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. Well, I don't know, Mimir. They are uh, they are the weirdos that we saw in most of Ragnarok's main game. So, I mean, I expected to see them for definite. Right, these are going to be the temporary chests. And as you can see, this one's going to give you a weapon glyph. There's going to be a lot of tutorials that might make it feel overwhelming. But it's exactly the same as the main game. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. Right, there's not really much point worrying about any of this because we have to die. It's basically like the beginning of Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Uh, 
Serpent Snare. What was that one? Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Goliaths provide combat bonus for this attempt. Weapon Goliaths empower weapons and perks. Goliaths provide unique effects. Stack Goliaths increase Kratos' attributes for this attempt. I like how they keep stating for this attempt. <laughs> Each chest has a floating symbol that indicates the type of reward inside. Press L3 to view the symbol overview. Yeah, there you go, and that's all the different ones, but we already know from the main game anyway. Lovely jubbly. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, look at look at poor Kratos. Like he's broke his arm or something. For God's sake. <laughs> look at that, look at that, it's fucking dodging. But there'll be, there's supposed to be a lot of familiar enemies and music and stuff from the original trilogy. So that should be nice to see. I know for a fact that we're going to see Cyclopses in this uh, DLC because they spoiled that in the uh, in the announcement trailer. But the music as well. Man, people are going to love this DLC. If you haven't tried the DLC, I recommend it. It is great. It feels like the Trial of Archimedes and stuff like that. All those other trials you get in the other God of War games where you just fight waves of enemies and it gets progressively harder. It sort of feels like that, just with a permanent death option <laughs> that you can't turn off. <laughs> Uh, Mists of Helheim. That's that, like, stuff that floats around you, ain't it? Oh, no, it leaves it on the floor. I thought it floated around me. That must be another one. Maybe that one? I don't even know why I'm bothering to, uh... Worry about what I'm picking. We're gonna die in a minute. These I think you open up by finding. Not that way it seems, and no way to pry it open. Fucking hell, man! Thanks for the news flash. <laughs> but I think uh, you need to find keys to get through these certain types of keys. And I'm guessing you can keep those keys for your next run, maybe, just to make it a bit easier because you can open up these doors. But I'm not 100% sure about that. There's also these weird glowy gold things on the floor as well, which I'm not sure what they Perhaps do. the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. Yeah, there'll be a few peaceful. We believe Freya would have aided us in this. Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really? I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Well, one thing is for sure. I'm not sure what she's asking of you, Kratos. I guess we'll find out later in the DLC. <laughs> but one thing is for sure, my good sir. You two both fancy each other. It's so fucking obvious. <laughs> it's so obvious. You can look at two people and know when they fancy each other. It is the most obvious shit on the planet. It's not even a secret. The only reason I'm looking around is because, uh, as, you're, as you can see, when I whack these, you get fleeting echoes. That's the currency I was talking about that allows you to buy temporary upgrades. But there's also the mastery seals or whatever it was called. That's what I'm looking for. Because those will be useful for our next run. Well, not our next run, because I think we have to die twice before the tutorial is completely over. <laughs> so I'm just having a good look around, just for anything decent. But these fleeting echoes, you won't be keeping those if you die. They're going to be gone as well. So you can't even save them up. Oh, 
Oh, my health is just... I've just noticed my health is... Yeah, we're supposed to die now, but yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. Get a room, you two. <laughs> Get a fucking room. Properly prepared this time. First, Mahala requires you to perform the ritual of selection. All right, so we can choose what kind of rage mode we have, which I'm going to pick the usual one where we punch the shit out of people and can heal ourselves, just like I did in the main game. And then you can pick your shield. I think I normally pick the big buff shield because it's very good for blocking. Because I don't ever take advantage of all of the shield slams and all the other things you can do. Mostly because I'm an absolute casual. That's why I know for a fact that these people that say they can't play on a harder difficulty are lying. Because I play so basically and I finish the game on a top difficulty. So if I can do it, I know for a fact that you guys and girls can do it. I know I'm not doing it with this DLC, but that's just because I don't want to have to redo the whole run again a million times. But in normal story games, you know, that's why I'm saying I don't play very well. <laughs> I'd play so basically. So we're going to go with Fury. It's already equipped, so we'll keep this. And we're going to get... I think it's this one I normally use, the Stonewall Shield. Tap L1 to shield slam launching enemies when fully charged. Block attacks to absorb the hit and build up a charge. Ah, so that's how it works. All right, I have to try and remember that. I mean, I do dodge most of the time, just like in the original game. I very rarely block, but if I can get into the habit of blocking as well. Yeah, because sometimes I think you do have to block. Dodging ain't an option because you won't get away. All right, we'll go with that. Stonewall shield. Good. Now. Let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. And its values? Oh, we kicked the shit out of you two, didn't we? Yeah, we beat the crap out of you in God of War 2018. And then we had to kill you two. And then there was a third one we had to kill as well. I don't think I did that on camera, but oh my god. She was even worse than Sigrun, I felt like. What do you know of this place? 
The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. That didn't tell me anything. Was it going to judge how I play? Because that's not going to be very nice. I'm going to get dissed. <laughs> what have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Oh. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Okay. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed. And we can begin the ceremony. Sweet. I hope that doesn't mean that they want me to mix up my gameplay. Or do they mean like, you know, sometimes I might need to, you know, backtrack and go through another door that I just came through and that kind of weird stuff, you know. Maybe it means that. Hopefully it means that, because I'm not I'm not changing my gameplay at all. <laughs> they can deal with it. I'll use the Leviathan Axe and the Blades of Chaos only, and I'll do the same combos over and over again. And they'll bloody well like it. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. Ah, so no weak Kratos mode with a broken arm. Lovely. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Really, I should die again. Straight away, to be honest. No, no, actually... Uh, what we'll do... Because, uh, I mean, we can still, we can make good progress now. We'll try, we'll do as good, we'll do as, we'll do as well as we can. Any cursed feeling this time? No, all is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. <laughs> I like how we have to, I have to specify it's the whole thing again. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll do as well as we can. And then uh, hopefully we'll find lots of those mastery seals. Uh, I think that's what they're called. And then when we die again, you'll learn about that and upgrading Kratos. And you can also change your armor in a cosmetic way. And you can unlock cosmetic armor pieces in your runs. Which don't affect the gameplay, but they just look cool. Stuff like that. So there's, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this DLC. The fact that they made it free is crazy. Like, I reckon they could have easily have charged at least $9.99 for this. But I'm not going to encourage them to, to charge me. If they want to give me free shit, damn right. Now, I love the splash damage of that and how it covers everyone in frost. Such an amazing move. I love it so much. But obviously, whilst you're charging it up like that, it leaves you open to attack. Also, if you hold triangle... Yeah, you can do that, can't you? Yeah, I forgot about that. You, like, uh, increase the free. Can you do it with your um, Blades of Chaos as well? Oh, no, it's this bloody thing, ain't it, for these? Yeah. Forgot about it. What's the one for the drop near spear? Oh, that's when you... That's when you blow up the uh, spears, ain't it? Yeah, okay. All right, what are you going to give to Daddy today? Daddy Kratos. New choices to make. A fresh start. Drastically increases the power of the Chaotic Rampage skill. Well, I might as well go with a Chaotic Rampage because I don't really use the spear that often, so it's just best to go with that. One thing I will say, though, sometimes it is beneficial for you to just die because you might be opening up chests and they're just giving you constant runic attacks and upgrades for things you don't use. In that case... Just die, you know, and do a fresh run. Because it's RNG what you're going to get. So uh, I do recommend sometimes it's just best to die. <laughs> and to save your progress, you need to reach the little uh, totems where you can buy temporary upgrades with the uh, Echoes. And then you can, uh, you can quit the game and come back later. 
If you just quit now, then you lose your progress, so don't do that. Amir, what is that odds between you and Sigrun? Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. Now you'll just distract me instead by commentating as soon as I try to commentate. Just like you always do in the main game, Amir. <laughs> it's so hard to commentate in things like God of War, Uncharted, oh, and Horizon. Horizon was rough because Aloy loves to talk to herself, didn't she? But yes, oh, it's always rough. What's the uh, Tartarus Rage? I normally use that, don't I? Oh shit, I picked it by accident. Alright, well that's what we've got now. <laughs> what was it? What did we get? Was that Tartarus Rage? Yeah, I think that is what I actually use, ain't it? Okay, that's alright then. I remember the name. Because Tartarus is where we fight Kronos, ain't it? In God of War 3, I think. So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. I know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. Aye. Nah, that's why I really like Kratos. I think I spoke about this in God of War Ragnarok, but I don't think there's a single character on the planet that I'll ever be able to relate to more than Kratos. Because when he, when I was in my teenage years and my twenties, uh, I was, I was, I was bottling up so much like sadness from loads of shit that had happened. Being doing the usual man thing of bottling up my emotions, I was just pissed off and angry every single day without foul. Just like Kratos in the original trilogy. But then when I started the counselling after everything that went wrong in 2019, started the counselling, started to become a different kind of man. It, uh, it was rough, obviously, and I made a ton of progress, but there was always that stuff from the past lingering in the back of your head. And there's always those days where things start to go wrong again, and you feel yourself slipping into your old ways. And that's obviously how Kratos feels. And it's crazy because it was around 2018 where things started to feel really weird for me. Because when my ex was moving in with me in 2018, I had these really weird doubts that it was going to be a bad idea. And I, I was beating myself up, you know. So, yeah, and that's when God of War came out, ain't it? The uh, 2018 one. Now, 2018 had God of War and Spider-Man in the same year. So, yeah, I do. I definitely... Yeah, Kratos is... I feel like he's my, uh, he's my brother from another mother. A.K.A. Gaia. That is Kratos, is my main it, Gaia, and Zeus is his daddy. Ah, oh, see, look, you're not all flipping tough this time, are you, you fuckers? Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not so badass now, are we? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Who's somebody behind me, then? Yeah, I thought that, Mimir. Are they up here? Yeah, you are, you bitch. Catch your fucker! Oh, 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 you cheeky git! That's not fair. That'll do it, brother! 
Oh yeah, and we charged it up enough to use this badass attack. Lovely. I used it because it was going to run out anyway. I just wanted to uh, remember what it did. <laughs> All right. Well, we've taken a little bit of damage now, and obviously you don't regenerate health in this game, as you should know if you've played the main game, which you should have played the main game. I don't even know if you can jump straight into Valhalla, but if you jumped into Valhalla and didn't do the main game, that's bloody weird. <laughs> that's bloody weird. Oh, there we go. I'm guessing the health is going to be very, very sparse. Yeah, I think health is going to be stupidly sparse. It's going to be some of the bigger enemies that are going to fuck me over anyway, you know. It's going to be like the uh, the ogre things or the trolls and stuff like that. It's going to be one of them that screws me over. Or those flying things that keep jumping up in the air and then soaring down and jumping on you. Things like that. Yeah. Cyclone of Chaos. Yeah, that's we definitely use that. That must be the one we use. Oh, it's definitely not that. That, that is absolute shit, that one. Man, they're giving me lots of upgrades for my Blades of Chaos. I better start using these bad boys. Yeah, this is our move. Yeah. Oh, so I think we do use that in the main game. I can't remember. I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? That's the thing, though. Uh, I, I don't... Uh... Who, who was the God of War? Was it Tyr was the God of War, wasn't it? Yeah, and if you... Uh, I don't think we did this on camera, but if you play through... Because obviously we had Tyr in our crew and it ended up being... Uh, spoiler, it ended up being Odin in disguise. But you can actually go and do a mission where you find the real Tyr. And he is still pretty pretty much himself, if I remember correctly. He's still pretty God of war if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. But yeah, why, don't he, why ain't he going to be the God of War? Why, why want Kratos to be the God of War? <laughs> It probably would be better to have Tyr be the God of War, to be honest. We can't trust Kratos, he's still an angry git. I know he got much better in this game, but you can see it sometimes. It sneaks out, especially when we press L3 and R3. Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly. Yeah, so these are all the things you can buy with your uh, Echoes, and also where you can suspend the game. Okay, so we could buy a Health Burst. Which will obviously heal us up. And we can get a little minor rage upgrade. Which we don't, don't think we need that. While blocking, take less damage from unblockable attacks and attacks from behind. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, I guess. I think we'll grab that. I mean, I don't really ever block, but, you know, I'm sure it'll be useful. I don't expect to get very far on this run anyway. I'm kind of not too fussed. Because then we can get some upgrades and it makes the next run a bit easier. But I want to see as far as I can get. Just so that I can get some more of those mastery things. Alright. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to keep these episodes. These episodes might be about 30 minutes long. Because I'm going to probably be doing this and The Last of Us No Return at the same time. Which uh, will be hilarious, because both of them are roguelike modes. In, the, in no return, you get as far as you can, and if you die, you've got to restart again. You lose all your upgrades, just like this. <laughs> we'll see if we can get to the next, uh, the next one of those uh, checkpoints, and then we'll end it. This is what I was talking about. I'm not sure what that is. So if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. 
But this episode will make a bit longer. It's a good job I know my left and right in a minute, because if I didn't... Oh, watch out, I didn't. I forgot these blew up. If I didn't know my left and right, it's up to fuck. Nice. I wish the L1 and triangle ability didn't have, like, a... A, um... A duration where you can trigger it. I wish it would just, like, once you've charged it up, it stays there no matter what. It's kind of a shame that it wears off. Because a lot of the time, by the time you build it up, you're already done with the fight. <laughs> so you don't ever get to use it. Getting some uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora vibes from uh, Joltenheim. Did Kratos even go to Joltenheim? I don't even remember. A perk life. Kratos takes reduced damage and has increased stagger resistance during his basic attacks and skills. That's good. Hold L1 for several seconds will trigger a high stun explosion on the next successful block. Oh, well, we'll go with this. And this must be how you remember Spartalfheim. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her in the need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do, there's power in words. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. You all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Yeah, I mean, you didn't kill four. Yeah, you didn't kill four, and you had a lot of reasons to kill four. But you didn't. I mean, you did get killed by Odin anyway, but you didn't kill four, so you know. If this was uh, if this was God of War three, R uh, four would four would have been decapitated, and then probably would have had the rest of his body put into his mouth and then set on fire or some shit. Just having to look around for any other uh, currencies or anything, and then I'm gonna have to uh, suspend our run for today, and we will continue next time. Let's have a quick butcher's over here. See if there's anything over here. No, it looks like two locked doors. Yeah. And that's where we came from. Alright, let's go and spend a bit of money if we need to. If there's anything decent there, if we've got enough as well, then uh, we'll have to end the video for today. Oh, blessings of cool, Dan. I don't have enough, but at least tell me what it is. <laughs> you can at least show me what it is. Flipping hell. Right, I think we'll upgrade. We'll upgrade that. Lovely. Oh. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, Wolf Morvets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Next time, we will continue with our run. Uh, we might end up dying, especially with the small amount of health we've got at the moment. But if not, we will then uh, grab up our, uh, use our mastery points to grab up some health upgrades and defense upgrades and stuff, or maybe attack. We'll uh, customize Kratos a bit so he looks a bit more badass, because the more badass you look in games, the better you do, even if it doesn't provide any stat buffs whatsoever. And uh, then we'll uh, rush through another run and get back to this bit. And yeah, hopefully we can finish the entire thing and uh, see if there is a teaser for the next game. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share. And join the pack today.